Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you how I colored these two happy fish in this cute summery wedding card. Now, I'm not a Copic marker expert, but blending Copic markers doesn't require a degree in art, just a little bit of practice. And remember, when you send a card to somebody, it's sent from the heart. So even if it's not perfect, it's okay. For this particular project, I'm going to use these four Copic markers. The first one is the lightest blue, and it's BG0000. The second one is just a little bit of a darker blue, and it's BG000, three zeros. And then for my fish, I'm going to use YR68 and Y35. The first color I'm going to lay down is BG000, Pale Aqua. And that's going to be my fishbowl, the water inside the fishbowl. And the reason why I'm doing that one first rather than coloring the fish first is because I want to make sure that the, the fish actually has some aqua mixed in with that color so that it appears as though it's underwater. And if I were to color the fish first and then color the aqua all over on top, it would smear the yellow and the orange because Copic markers blend, so it would blend those colors outside of the fish. So I'm going to start with my water line. That's where I want my water to come up to in my fish bowl. And now I'm just going to color the entire surface of the fish and color in the whole fish bowl underneath there. And you can see because I've stamped this image with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm not getting any smearing at all. And I want a nice well-defined line, water line there. And then by adding a little bit of extra ink on the sides, I can make the water seem just a little darker in the side areas. Okay. Now my next step is I'm going to use that lighter turquoise blue, the BG0000, and I'm going to fill in the rest of the area up top here with some of that. And although that might not pick up very well on the camera, it just gives it a little bit more of a glassy look. And I'm going to go back to my first blue and I'm going to color in the bubbles. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the Y35 maze and color my goldfish first completely with yellow. And you can see when I color the top fish, I get a nice vibrant yellow. And you'll see what happens when I color the bottom one. I'm not going to get such a vibrant yellow. It's going to be a little bit more of a green yellow because it's mixing in with that blue. But that's okay because I want that fish to have a little bit of a different hue because it's underwater, it's different than this one. See how different he looks? But that's exactly what I want. Okay, so now I've laid my yellow down. My next color is orange, YR68. And I'm going to color the perimeter of the fish and his whole top of his head and around his eye. Leaving an empty spot in the center of yellow. Like that. And now I'm going to go back with my yellow marker, the original one that I used, the Y35. And starting in the center, I'm going to grab some of that orange and bring it toward the center. 
just blending the orange and yellow together but giving the fish a little bit of a highlight in the center. Let's see how that looks. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this one on the bottom. I'm going to grab the orange. And you can still see that this one's colored a little bit different. You can still tell it's got that little bit of a greenish haze from the water. And grab my yellow again. Color in the center and then bring some of that orange in. And there you can see my fish are all colored with Copic markers. As you can see here in my finished card project, I have three bright orange buttons that match, match my, my goldfish. Well, the way that I did that was I chose one of the lighter buttons from our new Pure Luxury button jars in the Orange Mix collection. And I took one of the lighter buttons and then... I took a Copic marker and first I colored the perimeter of the button. And Copic, you can color anything with a Copic marker. So colored the perimeter and then I colored the surface. Now if you just want to color it rather quickly it'll just dry kind of flat, just a flat color but I wanted to add a little bit of texture in it. So once I got my color laid down, I took the tip of the Copic marker and I just did some little scribbles. And you can do little scribbles all over it. And as you can see, that created a textured look on the top of that button. You see the little veins going through it? Well, you can really see that a lot better when you're looking at the real card. So you can color buttons to match any of your projects. You just need to start with a button that's fairly close. So any of the buttons from the orange mix with the darker orange marker will give you a very, very vibrant button. Practice Copic coloring by stamping out a whole bunch of images and just color for fun with no particular project in mind. And when you're low on mojo, this is a great way to get started and you'll end up with lots of beautifully colored images ready to turn into cards.